Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion with regard to the ellipse. Yesterday or yesterday night, I have uploaded a video na kung saan, um, yun yung introduction natin about the ellipse, na kung saan, diniscuss natin yung different parts of the ellipse at yung equations and different orientation of the graphs of ellipse. Kung gusto mo siya mapanood, ilalagay ko siya dito. At yung link ng video na yun, ay ilalagay ko rin sa ating description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Yung pinaka-focus ng ating discussion today is on how to transform or to write an equation of ellipse from general form to standard form. Again, from general form to standard form. Ito yung natura ng ating general form. Yung, may, yung mahaba, yung walang denominator. But when we talk about the standard form of the equation of the ellipse, dalawang meron tayo. Yung first form natin ay yung x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to y. This is our form. x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to y. Ito, madali na siya ma-recognize if the center of the ellipse is at the origin, nasa gitna siya ng Cartesian plane. And another naman, if yung center ng inyong ellipse ay wala sa origin, ito yung itsura ng kanyang standard form. You have x minus h squared over a squared is equal to, sorry, plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. Ito yung dalawang target forms natin ngayon. Again, we have this standard form if the center of the ellipse is at the origin. Ito naman kapag wala sa set, yung center mo sa origin. So let's try having example number 1. How can we transform 9x squared plus 16y squared minus 126x plus 64y is equal to 7 to 1 in standard form? Guys, dito pa lang, since makikita nyo ha, kapag mayroon kayong linear terms for the x variable and y variable, ito yung magiging target natin. Okay? Kasi pag ito, ito lang yung mga terms na meron kayo. So we will start to target this one. Kailangan ganti maging form natin. We have this one. So what is the first step? The first step is to uh, transform the constant. But in this case, we have the constants on the right side already. Next step natin is to rearrange the terms. Rearrange the terms. Na kung saan dapat magkakasama or magkakatabi si x terms at saka si y terms. So in this case, I will rearrange the equation and it will go like this. We have 9 x squared. And this one, minus 126x plus 16y squared plus 64y is equal to 71. Next step is to factor out the common monomial terms or common monomial factor between 9 and negative 126. Kailangan kasi maging x squared na lang to. So, yung coefficient yung clue guys, if this is the coefficient, coefficient ng inyong um, variable with the second power, yun yung maging common monomial factor nyo. Target kasi natin maging 1 yung coefficient ng x squared. So, we have here 9 times, okay, 9 times, 9 times x squared. Sir, paano pa nakukuha yung 9 times x squared? Uh, pwede natin makuha guys simply by dividing 9x squared over 9. Cancel, cancel, and there you have it. You have the x squared. Next, negative 126x divided by your 9. So ilan ba ang negative 126x divided by 9? Ilan? Okay, the answer is... Um, I think this is 14, negative 14x. Because 9 times negative 10 is negative 90. 
Tapos, 9 times 4 is negative 36 and that is negative 126x. So we have um, negative 14x, ito naman. And then let's go with the y terms. Plus, look at the coefficient of y squared, this is 16. Ibig sabihin, yung common monomial factor mo is 16. You have 16 times y squared because 16y squared divided by 16 is y squared. And then 64y divided by 16, and this is plus 4y, okay? Is equal to 71. What's next here is, ito na guys. This is a binomial. Uh, this is a binomial. Ang target natin dito ay maging perfect square trinomial yung nasa loob natin. Maging perfect square trinomial. Again, maging perfect square trinomial. So what we will do is to get the coefficient of 14x, which is negative 14. So we have negative 14 divided by 2. Always divided by 2. Nagawa na natin to the guys nung ano, nung sa parabola sa circle. Completing the square. Negative 14 divided by 2, that is negative 7. And then square your quotient, that is 49. So we have here 9 times x squared minus 14x plus 49. Another one lang ay um, trivial lang guys, baka hindi nyo pa natatandaan. When you, whenever you are doing completing the square, yung last term natin laging perfect, ano, perfect square sa positive. Next, this one naman, get the coefficient of 4y, which is 4, divided by 2, that is 2. And then square it, your answer is equal to 4, right? The answer is 4. So what we will do here is to rewrite this into plus 16 times y squared plus 4y plus 4. And ito na. Baka malito kayo. Di ba lagi natin ginagawa starting from the circle up to the parabola? Kung ano yung natin dito, we will add it to the other side of the equation. But this one, this time is different. Remember, meron tayo itong um, factor. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito is that we will write here 71 plus 9 times 49 plus Plus 4, oh sorry, 16 times 4. Okay, nakuha niya. Next, we will express this perfect square trinomial into the square of binomial. So what we will do, we have 9 times. Ang square of binomial ito is x minus 7 squared. Sir, paano po nakuha yung x minus 7 squared? Nakuha yun by getting the square root of x squared, which is x, by getting the square root of 49, which is 7, and then copy the sign of the middle term, which is minus. For this one, we have plus 16 times y plus 2. Sir, paano po rin nakuha? Y, square root of y squared is y, square root of 4 is 2, and then copy the sign of the middle term. Next, natin kailangan to simplify. Uh, yung 71 natin, gamit tayo ng another space, we have here 71, tapos yung 49 times 49 times 9 is 1, 8, tama? 81, tapos 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 8. 9 times 4 is 36 plus 8. Magiging 44. Tama? Okay, 44. Maging careful tayo dito ah. 9 times 8. Double check lang natin. 36 plus 8 is 441. Okay? Next, how about 16 times 4? That is 64. So what we will do 
is to add them all. This is 6, right? Tama? This is 17 plus 1, 576. So our constant here is 576. Now, what is the next step, guys? Remember, ito yung target natin. Ito yung target natin. Ano kayo yung maging divisor natin? Ang target natin is to make this constant be equal to 1. Maging 1. So what we will do is to divide the whole equation by 576. Because when you divide 576 by 576, their quotient is equal to 1. So we will divide the whole equation by 576. 576. 576. Now, simplify. Automatically, this is 1. 1 to ah. Ngayon, dito naman tayo. Um, ano yung sagot natin dito? Ilang, ilang 9 meron sa 576? The answer is 64. Tama ba? Divide lang muna natin. 576 divided by 9. Um, this is 6, tama? 57 divided by 9, 6. 9 times, this one is 54. Okay? Subtract natin, this is 36. 36 divided by 9 is 4. So the answer is 64. So we have, maka-cancel na ito guys, ah, makawala na rito, magiging 64 na ito. Magiging x minus 7 squared over 64. Plus, Ito naman. Ilang 16 meron? What is the lowest term of 16 and 576? The answer is, cancel natin ito. Ito yung magiging 36. Okay? Magiging 36. Now, our new equation is y plus 2. Nawala yung squared natin dito. Over. 36 plus i is equal to 1. Ito na ngayon yung standard form ng ating equation for item number 1. Now guys, ano ba importance? Why do we need to uh, trans why do we need to know how to transform an equation from general form to standard form? Guys, this will help you to determine the vertex, uh, the focus, and the other parts of the ellipse. And I hope na ma-appreciate niyo yung video natin. Now, let us continue with item number 2. For number 2, we have 16x squared plus 90x, 96x plus 7y squared plus 14y plus 39 is equal to 0. Uh, now, Ang first step natin dito is transpose this one to the other side of the equation. We have 16x squared plus 96x plus 7y squared plus 14y is equal to negative 39. Now guys, um, as you can see, it's already arranged. Magkasama na si x x terms, as y terms. So what we need to do here is to do the common monomial factoring. Again, ang pinakasabi ko sa inyo, kung ano yung coefficient ng variable with the highest exponent na inabas niya. So this is 16 times x squared. Okay, ang 96 divided by 16 natin, kanina meron ba tayo dito? Wala. So 96 divided by 16 is 6. Okay? I know it's 6. Tama? Wait lang. 16 times 6, we have 36. Okay. The answer is 6. So, this is plus 6x. And this one, plus, labas natin 7. This is 7 times y squared plus 2y is equal to negative 39. Now, Ang next step natin is to transform this one into a perfect square trinomial. So what we will do is to divide 6 by 2, that is 3 squared. 
So, ang answer natin ay 9. So, this is 16 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 7 times y squared plus 2y. 2 divided by 2 is 2. Ah, sorry, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Squared, that is 1. So, this is plus 1. Is equal to negative 39. So, what we will do is to multiply 16 plus 16 times 9 here. So, plus 16 times 9 plus 7 times 1. 7 times 1. So, we will simplify this. Ito muna gawin natin itong perfect ano, um, square of binomial. We have 16 times x plus 3 squared. So, paano po rin nakuha? Square root of x squared. Square root of 9. Copy the sign. Plus 7 times y plus 1 squared. Square root of y squared is y. Square root of 1 is 1. And then this time, simplify natin to. We have negative 39. Tapos, yung 16 times 9. Kapit na. 16 times 9. 9 times 10 is 90. Okay, 90. Tapos... Sixteen times nine, that is fifty-four, right? Okay. So nine times one is nine plus five. So this is one hundred. One hundred forty-four. Tapos seven times uh, seven plus one. Uh, seven times one is seven. So what we will do? Hindi pala pwede. This is one hundred fifty-one. So one fifty-one minus thirty-nine. So this is 11 minus 9 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. Tapos ito ay magiging 112. Right? Tama ba? 112 guys? Okay. 112. Now, this is 112. So next step natin, since the target method is to make this coefficient uh, a constant one, we will divide the whole equation by 112. 112. And then divide it by 112. So, ilang bang 112? Ilang 16 ba meron tayo sa 112? So, I'm going to use my calculator para sa bilis tayo. Medyo mahaba na yung ating um, tutorial. So, I will use this calculator. Divided by 16, the answer is 7. Okay? The answer is 7. This is 1 and this is 7. So we have x plus 3 squared over 7 plus. So, ilang kayang meron 16, ilang uh, 112 meron tayo. So we have. I think that's 16, okay? This is 1 and this is 16. So we have y plus 1 squared over 16. Siyempre, ito naman, magiging equal to 1. So, ito na ngayon si guys. As you can see guys, ah sorry, this is 16. Okay, sorry. Yun. As you can see guys, ang nakuha natin na equation na ito, in which yung center ng ating dalawang equations is not located at the origin. So I hope guys na natuto kayo sa video natin about um, how to transform the equation of ellipse from general form to standard form. And don't forget to watch our introduction to ellipse at ilalagay natin siya sa ating description box. And please like and subscribe para mas marami kayong makitang videos with regards to uh, different topics in the pre-calculus, lalo na rin sa codex sections. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!